Continuing through our guide to PCSX2, and while we've covered how you can save games on the system, today we're going to be looking at how you can manage these saves from existing ones on your virtual memory card or saves that you might have downloaded using PCSX2 itself and third-party software. So we're going to start with PCSX2 itself, launch the program and then go up to system and then start BIOS. This will start the usual PlayStation 2 startup screen and from here you can go to browser and you're able to see any virtual memory card that you currently have active. This is exactly as you would be able to do on an original PlayStation 2 console. You can enter the memory cards, see all the saves that are contained within them, select them, view them, copy them to other cards and even delete them. It's a simple way of save managing, but you can only do one save at a time. The second method is by using third party software. And for this, if you search MyMC Alpha into Google and click on the first link, it's from UW Computer Science Club and you'll be brought to this page. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a download link for the current release of MyMC Alpha. It's quite a small file and it won't take too long to download or install. Once you've got it, unzip the folder and then once it's extracted, you can then delete the zipped folder. You don't need it anymore. Enter the MyMC folder and what you then need to click on is MyMC-GUI. MyMC can read a variety of different file types, just make sure that they're PlayStation 2 compatible. Most importantly though, they need to be from the same region your game is from. MyMC can also read PlayStation 2 virtual memory cards, as well as individual save files. Once you've opened the program for the first time, you'll be asked to link a memory card up to it. So simply find where you've stored your PCSX2 memory cards. Usually this is in the PCSX2 main directory and in a folder called memcards. If this initial pop-up window doesn't appear on the first startup, you can go to File and then Open. Select the memory card you wish to open and then any saves that you've got stored on it will then show in MyMC. At this point you can select an individual or multiple files. And when you're happy with your selection, you can press this memory card icon with the arrow on the right hand side and this will export the selected saves into a new file. This is great if you want to back up your saves, move them later onto another virtual memory card or share them with friends. To delete saves off your virtual memory card, select the ones you want to delete and then go to file in the top left hand corner and then press delete. A new dialog box will appear asking you to confirm the deletion of the files, but it will show the game's directory name, not the game's title. So just make sure that these match with the ones that you can see within MyMC Alpha. So you know how to export and delete, but what happens if you've downloaded a save from the internet and you want to import it into one of your memory cards? Well, firstly, you'll need to download a save. A website that I use is gamefaqs.gamespot.com. Here you can simply search for the game that you want to find saves of, click on the blue arrow and then download it. For this example, I'm using WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2006. It seems obvious, but as I mentioned earlier, if you're trying to use a North American save and the game version you have is European, the save and the game aren't compatible with each other and therefore the save, while it will go onto your memory card, it won't load. So the region of your save must match the region of your game. At this point, you have a downloaded save ready to go and you're in MyMC. At this point, if you press this button with the arrow on the left-hand side of the memory card, this is the import button and it will import save files. At this point, all you need to do is find the file that you've downloaded. And as long as you've got space on your virtual memory card and it's open within MyMC, when you go to import one of your saves, this will automatically be added to the memory card. If, of course, it's compatible. There's no need to press save or anything. Once you're done with your save management, just close MyMC and make sure that you do this before relaunching PCSX2. Occasionally, the programs can interfere with each other and PCSX2 can crash as a result. Also, if you've got MyMC open when using PCSX2, occasionally 
it won't save and sometimes won't even read any changes that you've made within MyMC. So just make sure that you close it before you go to play a game. So there we go, that's how you can swap out saves within PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator. If this guide has helped you, leave this video a like and feel free to share the video around. If you've got any questions as well, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And finally, if you do want to learn more about PCSX2, there's a full setup guide on the channel and it'll be linked in a card above, video description and in the pinned comment, along with some other useful tips that you might need.